All right, guys, here we are. Finally got a little swarm coming in. Gonna do some salting tonight. So uh, here's our salt pile. Here's our skid steer. Right now we've got a little bit of a snowstorm coming in. They're calling for uh, just a trace to about an inch. Temperatures are gonna be dropping tonight down to 10 degrees or so cold the next couple days we've already got quite a bit of residual down you can see from the other day we've got a mess in our salt pile because it was negative five degrees and that stuff didn't clean up very well but we've still got some residual down but it's getting wet if we get a decent little shot of snow in here we're gonna have some snow patches we've got some up there already where uh, cars were parked and it, uh, gonna need a little salt tonight so that's what we're gonna do all right it's 1238 now been sitting a little while waiting on everything waiting on the snow to kind of start to pile up I'm driving down to another property now to check it out We've got quite a bit of residual out but Looks like we're gonna have to do something here the way the roads look we're definitely still on to go at one o'clock it's just a matter of uh, how much we're gonna be throwing to keep up with this so I'm gonna drive down here to my other property and we'll give you guys an update then we're rolling up on our property here this is the main road. It's got a pretty good uh, little coating on it. But as you can see, properties that we take care of, still a lot of residual salt on there. They're keeping open pretty decent. But we gotta keep up with that. As you can see, we've got a little bit of tracing out there. Said by one o'clock, we'll be in good shape to throw some salt on this. So we're gonna head back, get some salt mixed up, get loaded up, and uh, we'll show you how that goes. We're at the salt pile. We're gonna start loading up. I know it's kind of windy. I don't have a mic, so the sound's probably not very good. But we'll go ahead and mix up some salt here. Probably time lapse it for you. Let's see what it's all about.
So we're all loaded up. We're heading to our property. Let's uh, get down here. You can see the roads are a little worse now. Not terrible, but uh, enough to throw some salt. So we're just heading down the road here. I get to my property. I'm going to uh, stick you guys out on the side of my truck so you can kind of see how the spreading goes. I think I'll start off showing you the controls in here again and what we're going to run everything on. As you can see, there's not a ton of snow. Uh, our parking lots are probably pretty open from the residual we've got on them. So, probably going to run my spreader on two or three. Kind of see how the flow goes. Uh, we just want to get a decent fan of salt. I'm going to run my width all the way out except for where I back into uh, docks and parking spots. You'll be able to see as I turn it down when I've got you out there, kind of how it's going. Uh, this property that I'm at, I'm, I'm heading to, really don't have to turn it down a whole lot. So probably won't see a lot of that, but I'm gonna back into some docks. When I'm backing in and out of those docks, I'll probably have it down on two on the material flow. Uh, and that way as I trace back and forth, I'm actually applying a little heavier than just a two if I was driving around, uh, not going back over places that I've already done. So in those dock areas, I'll turn it down a little bit. I won't turn my spreader off. I'll just pull up, hurry up and back up, pull up, hurry up and back up and it'll kind of retrace it as I go. So the lower setting will put a little more down because of the retrace. Um, as I run out in the open parking lot, I'll probably run three or four, just kind of depending on what I need to make sure I've got enough down. So we'll get you set up here in a minute. Let's see, we're, uh, we're almost there now. So just get started right here in a minute. Set you down here. Hopefully, you can see these controls. And as you can see, we're coming up into the parking lot. I'm going to turn this on down here. I'm going to turn my light on. And we're going to kind of, you can see in my mirror there, we're going to watch for that salt to start coming out before we drive into here. You can kind of hear it too. Here it comes. There we go. We've got salt. Now if you look in the mirror, you'll see it kind of throwing out through there. We're just gonna, we wanna run it right up against that curb. Put you out here, actually stick you up on the roof.
gonna stick this down here. Hopefully that's a good view. back inside now now that I've cut all that in we're gonna come back and you can kind of see where we came out to the end of this concrete every time I backed in now we're just gonna run the opposite way right along the edge of that so we're gonna overlap there and if you think about it if somebody were to hook up to this trailer right here their drive tires are going to be right there at the edge of that concrete and now I'm recovering for the third time right in that area 
with my spreader down fairly low, but now I've got plenty of product right there where they're gonna need to get traction. So that's kind of why you, you wanna make your overlap points when you're backing into places where it makes the most sense to put a little extra product. So that's kind of why I go to the end of that concrete right there. So now we're just gonna run laps around this. I've cut all this in, I cut all this in in front of us. Backed into all the corners, you wanna throw curb to curb. You wanna get salt all the way up against that curb. So when snow blows into it, it's gonna be sitting in a little pile of salt there. Now we're gonna run close to our tire track from earlier. So we just have a little bit of overlap on the edge because we don't have a whole lot of snow here. If it was heavy snow we were trying to burn and we were committed to burning it, we would run tire track to tire track where basically, as you can see my tire track in front of me there from before, we would put our tire tracks this time right up against those so that we can put a good heavy salting down and we would turn our spreader up higher. I'm actually running on four right now. so. We're going to put a decent amount of product down just to make sure this burns open, temps are dropping, we're down to 21 now. So I'm still fanning out, I'm running all the way on my material width, I'm running full blast. Turned all the way up and then we're just going to basically keep cutting circles in here. I've run both edges of this, of this driveway, you can see salt piled along the curbs. You don't want a ton of salt piled along the curbs, but you want to have some. You want to make sure you're bouncing up against that curb, because if you're not, and you have snow drift up into that corner, you're not gonna get it clean. And it's always gonna blow into the corners and it's, you're gonna have a, a cut in edge there that's rounded and it's not curb to curb. And we do curb to curb service, so you gotta do it right. So we're just gonna keep running laps around here now that we've got all the, the other stuff done. Uh, we'll try not to bore you too much with that because you're kind of getting it now. And at the end where we can't make that, that turn once we get close to the other side, where we're narrowing it into the middle, then we'll kind of figure eight it at the end so that we can get full coverage. Like right now I'm starting to get to where, if I keep doing this, I'm gonna track over that same spot every time. So next time I'll have to cut it in around the other side. You'll kind of see here in a minute. pay attention to your tire tracks you can tell where you've been and once you do a property two or three times you'll get a you'll get a rhythm down to it but see this time now I'm gonna cut this way so I can get over this snowy patch here I'm gonna turn around I'm gonna turn my spreader off right here so that I'm not wasting salt while I turn around and back up This time, we'll line back up where we were. Turn my spreader back on right now. Let's throw one again. You can see my tire track up there. I'm just two or three feet, maybe four feet, five feet off of it. I don't know. That'll come with experience on where you really need to run. You can look back in your mirror and see where your product's fanning out. I can see it's making it all the way back over there, so we don't need to overlap a whole bunch, but a little bit is okay. And then this time I'm going to cut this way, get these water puddles. Yes, sir. Confirm? Uh, no. Hey guys, I wanted to show you something else here. Uh, it's later in the night, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. This is another one of our properties. She was pretty open earlier, but we're getting a lot of drifting snow on here. This is one where you kind of have to run tire track to tire track. And when you're new to this, you're gonna freak out. And be like, oh, it was, we're never gonna burn this, but it'll burn. We, we only have a half inch, inch of snow coming. Can't get freaked out about it. it looks bad, it's gonna open right up. You can see where I salted earlier over here. That's all opening up. 
We'll come back in 30, 45 minutes after I throw this tire track to tire track, and it'll be it'll be burned open good. We're probably gonna have to throw another round tonight. But this is just one of those things that just remember that uh, you're gonna have moments where when you're on your own, you're gonna freak out and think, oh, why aren't we plowing or whatever, whatever else. Or you're gonna be trying to hog way more salt on than what you need. And just just put it down in layers. Put put your round down. Let it work. If it needs another one, we'll put another one on it. But don't uh, don't let the storm scare you, freak you out. I'm just gonna run this tire track to tire track and uh, put an application on it. And let it work. Let's see what the temperature is here in a minute. Right now I'm running on four, probably could be on five. Temperature's 17 degrees, so it's cooled off quite a bit. But it's still, you know, we're, we're throwing some mixed salt on it. It's still gonna work. It's still gonna burn open. You just gotta make sure you get it tire track to tire track. And you're laying it down on it. Don't be missing spots. You'll be good. So, just kinda wanted to share that. Thought it might be important. So keep running here. I'm gonna switch sides because I can't make that turn anymore. I'm just gonna keep running it. Alright, I'm gonna stop at that for now because I don't want to bore you guys to death, but that's what we've got. I want to show you guys here. Over here. That is not the level of service that we give. So, I'll show you one of mine here in a minute. But, uh, there's some pretty terrible stuff out here. So, keep in mind. expected. We do curb to curb, we do curb to curb. Our clients can count on us to have nice parking lots when they come in. We do better than that. Keep that in mind. There's another one. And another one. And another one. Another one.
Do better, guys. Do better. There's Frito Lay. Not good. There's another one. We'll roll up into ours that we're getting ready to touch up, finish up for the night. It's 4.30. About got them ready for everybody to come in. 5 o'clock, 5.30, 6 o'clock. This place up here actually usually has people start showing up about 4.30. But we'll show you the difference between what we do and what other people do. Here's our property. couple spots to touch up but not bad just wanted to demonstrate that that's the difference do it right or don't do it at all here it is guys three in the morning on a touch up round this is all that stuff back here that I said earlier covered up pretty good and thought somebody might get worried about but it's burning wide open I just threw a little bit more salt on it all this will open up nice by the time anybody gets here nothing to worry about it's 14 degrees 524 I think we're wrapping it up for the night. Gonna go back, close up the salt pile. Make sure everything's tidy and neat, cleaned up like we were never here. And that'll do it. So, hope you guys learned something. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll do it again. Thank you guys.